There has been a handful of truly wild advancements in the robotics field lately. These advancements don't involve the typical rigid robots made out of hard materials, doing backflips, or making pizzas. These advancements are a bit stranger. They are inspired by human flesh and inspired by how humans move. These advancements may lead to androids similar to the ones found in HBO's Westworld. Will we ever see androids anywhere near the kind seen in Westworld in our lifetimes? It's really hard to imagine at this point, but these four incredible advances are steps in the right direction. Alright, the first advancement takes us to the University of Colorado Boulder, where researchers are pushing the boundaries of soft robotics. Soft robotics is a subfield of robotics that is built on how living organisms move and interact with their environment and deal with compliant materials versus rigid materials. The researchers at Boulder developed a hydraulically amplified self-healing electrostatic actuator, or hazel actuator for short. The actuators are made out of elastic pouches connected to electrodes and filled with vegetable oil. The oil is an electrically insulating liquid and when electricity is applied, the oil is displaced, making the artificial muscle contract. And this can happen in milliseconds. And changing the shape and configuration of pouches will produce different movements. Assistant Professor and Fellow of Material Science and Engineering Program Christoph Keplinger says, Hazel actuators synergize the strength of soft fluidic and soft electrostatic actuators and thus combine versatility and performance like no other artificial muscle before. Just like biological muscles, hazel actuators can produce the adaptability of an octopus arm, the speed of a hummingbird, and the strength of an elephant." End quote. And what might be the most incredible part of this advancement is that the devices are made out of low-cost material and can be made for just 10 cents. The researchers are continuing to improve the technology. The actuators currently take a lot of power, but they are working on devices that will operate on one-fifth of the power. And they have secured patents for the technology and currently exploring commercial opportunities. Who wants to see Boston Dynamics or Hanson Robotics license this tech? I sure do. Alright, the next advancement makes me think of the T-1000 or Wolverine. Researchers at a Belgian university have developed technology that may one day allow robots to have self-healing skin. The fingers you see are made out of squishy polymers with lots of strands. The strands are microscopic chains that are held together. And the fascinating part is that the bonds break when you heat the material. And as it cools, the chains bond back together. The team of researchers are now working on a way to load the material with sensors so that eventually when the technology is applied to a robot, it can sense when it has an injury and then heal itself accordingly. Currently, it takes about 40 minutes to heal a wound at 80 degrees centigrade, but that should improve over time. All right, and the third advancement also involves possible robot skin, but this research was inspired by octopus skin. An octopus can do so much without a skeleton, and its skin can change shape and color in absolutely incredible ways. Look at how the octopus perfectly blends with that ocean plant. Anyway, researchers at Cornell University in New York and Marine Biological Laboratory in Massachusetts created synthetic skin that can change shape and texture. The skin contains a fiber mesh material that simulates an octopus erector muscle. When air is pumped into the skin, the mesh will hold parts of the skin in place while allowing the skin to expand in other places. The team is working on skin that can form multiple shapes at once. Aside from one day using the technology for skin on robots, the technology has other potential applications as well. According to assistant professor James Pickle, the shape-shifting material can eventually be used as a vanishing interface. Here's Pickle talking about a vanishing interface on a dashboard of a car. Pickle says, if you had the material that we engineered, you could inflate it, and then coming out of that leather could be a 3D map showing you all the buildings in your city and where you are located, instead of a two-dimensional map. You could have this cool interface and when you don't need it anymore it disappears and looks like a dashboard again end quote all right i'm not really holding my breath on that 
but we've talked about artificial muscles and skin that one day may be applied to robots. Now let's go to Japan and look at an actual robot and this is where researchers from the University of Tokyo's JSK lab built the robot Kangaroo. It measures 1.7 meters tall and weighs 56 kilograms. Kangaroo is designed to resemble the movement and functionality of humans as much as possible. The cool thing about Kangaroo is that it has 116 actuators that pull on wires that mimic the contraction of human muscles. Look how all the black tubes are arranged similarly to muscles on a human body. Now you can see it do sit-ups. Look how it twists its torso. And now we see it bend and twist its neck. And look how it can even do back extensions. And now check it out with badminton. Kangaroo is ready for gym class. What's also cool about Kangaroo is that it can sweat just like we can. Kangaroo has 108 motors and is full of circuit boards and gears and when the actuators move they produce heat. So in order to cool its motors, the researchers came up with a way to use Kangaroo's aluminum skeletal frame as a cooling system. The frame is made out of laser centered aluminum powder which creates a structure full of tiny tunnels like a sponge where water circulates allowing heat to escape as vapor. That is pretty wild. So these advancements show that we have incredible robotics research happening all over the world and piece by piece we are slowly advancing to the day where we can have robots in our homes helping us with our everyday lives. The huge challenge though is getting all these little advances all over the world and combine them in one robot. Imagine the balance expertise of Boston Dynamics combined with the Hazel actuators along with Kangaroo's actuator configuration coupled with the facial functionality and IBM Watson implementation of Hansen Robotics Sophia and then fuse that with Aldebaran's Pepper's emotional intelligence and then top it off with Soul Machine's artificial nervous system. Yeah, so combine all of that and then we are still nowhere near Westworld androids. But it would be awesome to see. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to know how cool life will be in the future, join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe. See you on the next journey.